Hello everybody. Today we are going to read a story called The Open Window. This was written by H. H. Munro, popularly known as Saki. He was born in the year 1870. He was a British writer whose witty, mischievous and sometimes macabre stories satirized the Edwardian society and culture. He is considered a master of the short story and is often compared to O Henry and Dorothy Parker. He was influenced by Oscar Wilde, Lewis Carroll and Kipling. Besides his short stories, he wrote a full-length play called The Watched Pot in collaboration with Charles Maud. Two one-act plays were also written by him, a historical study called The Rise of the Russian Empire and the only book published under his own name a short novel called The Unbearable Bassington was written by him. Saki is well known for his wit, humor and ironical endings. Of course, most of his stories are humorous, but Open Window has a special place. People who have read the story really like it and really enjoy reading it. It is about a young girl of 15 years called Vera who plays a practical joke on a young man called Frampton Nuttall. I'm sure you all know what a practical joke is. You must have played a practical joke on your friends very often when you were young. It also happens on, in the month of April, especially on the Fool's Day, April 1st. Everyone tries to fool each other on April 1st. This happens to us. People try to play practical jokes on us. And there is a famous song, a rhyme that goes for school children. April fool, go to school and tell your teacher you are a big fool. Well, practical jokes are common in life. If there is no humor in our life and if we don't laugh, we can never be happy. Happiness is there when we are with our friends. Happiness is there when our friends tease us. This is a part of life. We all feel happy when we listen to jokes. We all feel happy when we see comedy. We all feel happy when we read a humorous story. Now, this is also a humorous story, but it has an ironical ending. What is an ironical ending? What is irony? Irony is something you expect and the end to be in a particular way and then it is not that you come and see a surprise in the end. That is what we will see in this story. The story has a surprise ending and that is why we say it has an ironical ending. Saki is famous for that. He was inspired by many writers. The open window is a short story set in a living room or a drawing room in a village wherein a young man comes to make friends with a lady called Miss Sapleton because he is new to the village. Let us learn more about the story now. The story basically has three characters, important characters. One is Frampton Nuttall. The other one is Vera, who is a 15-year-old self-possessed girl. I will explain that to you later. And Mrs. Sapleton. Of course, at the end of the story, you are introduced to three more characters, Mrs. Sapleton's husband, her two brothers and a small dog, a spaniel. Now, Frampton Nuttall is a young man who lives in the city, but he has had a nervous problem. Okay, so he wants to recuperate. His sister insists that he goes to a village and takes rest so that he can feel better because he is away from the urban life which is busy, which is full of noise, which is full of pollution. So the sister suggests and asks him to go to a village stating that she had lived in the village five years back and she would give him letters of introduction. What are letters of introduction? She would write letters stating that Frampton Nuttall is her brother and he has come to the village to recuperate and get well. And he should take these letters of introduction to different houses, to people whom she had known earlier, so that they can look after him well, especially in times when he is not feeling well. He is sick. 
So Frampton Nuttall comes to the village and visits one such house. The mistress of the house is called as Mrs. Sapleton. Frampton comes to the house and he is greeted by a young girl called Vera who is around 15 years old and the author describes her as a self-possessed young girl. A self-possessed young girl is one who is very confident about herself, who is very sure, who has an attitude, who knows what she is talking and who is very very clever. So she welcomes him and she tells him to wait because her aunt is still getting dressed and she starts conversing with him. He doesn't know, he is not much of a talker, he doesn't talk much. So she tells him to wait and then she asks him if he is new to the village. Frampton Nuttall answers in affirmative and says that he does not know anybody in the village. Vera smiles at him and questions if he doesn't really know anybody in the village to which Frampton says that he does not know anybody in the village, not even her aunt. So Vera tries to entertain him and she looks at a window. It's a French window. A French window is a window that's big, which is open. And she says that they are very sorry that the window is kept open, especially in the month of October. And in the month of October, there is a nip in the air. There is a slight nip in the air. The winter is setting in. It is not like in India where you have a tropical climate and Octobers are pleasant. You know, in England, October means the winter is setting in. And leaving the window open in the afternoon or in the evening, you can feel the cold air getting into the house. So Vera says that she's sorry that the window is open, especially in the month of October. But then she tells him that a tragedy had occurred in the family three years back. And she starts telling him a story. She talks about her aunt's husband and her aunt's two brothers who had gone out snipe hunting. What is a snipe? A kind of bird. Three years ago, her aunt's husband and her brothers had gone out for snipe hunting along with a dog. But they had got lost in a bog and they had fallen into a mire and their bodies were never recovered. But the aunt was always hoping that her husband and her brothers would come back. And Vera says that is the reason why the window is kept open even in the month of October. Now, Frampton Nuttall, as I have already told you before, had a nervous problem. The moment he hears the story that Vera t tells him about the death of her aunt's husband and brothers, he starts getting a little nervous because he, somewhere in his heart he thinks, why has he come to their house, especially on a day when it is an anniversary, like a death anniversary. He starts feeling bad about it, but then he can't help it. He just keeps quiet and Vera, you know, tells him about the tragedy that had occurred in their family three years back. As she is talking, the aunt comes down and she is surprised to see Frampton Nuttall. She starts talking to him and she hopes that Vera had been entertaining him. Frampton Nuttall says that, yes, he was being entertained by Vera. And then the aunt suddenly shifts the topic and says that, the window is open and she says that she's sorry that the window is open especially in October because she's hoping that her husband and her brothers would come back from hunting and uh, Frampton Nuttall just cannot understand why this lady is talking about an open window. He starts thinking that this lady has not come out of her tragedy. He starts feeling bad for the aunt and the aunt says I don't want my house to get dirty if they come from the front door. You know how men are and how dirty they can make the house. That is the reason why we keep this window open so that they can walk straight from the garden into the house so that the house can be saved from a lot of dirt. He tries to distract the aunt's attention because he thinks that she is talking about a tragedy. She's not come out of her tragedy. So he 
tries to distract her and he starts talking about his own illness because he hopes that people around are generally very very excited when people say that okay we are ill so he starts telling her about his illness why he has come to the village and how he wishes to recuperate and so on and so forth the aunt is really not bothered about what frampton is talking she keeps looking at the window and she is thinking that her husband is going to come down and as this conversation progresses and suddenly in the middle she says ah there they come now the window is right behind frampton natal and the moment she says ah there they come he looks at vera's face and vera has an expression of amazement and astonishment and she is looking a gape at the window with a shocked expression and that is how she is looking and frampton natal turns around and what does he see he sees three men along with a dog walking inside the french window and coming into the house he gets a shock of his life he thinks he is seeing ghosts he picks up his hat he picks up his walking stick he runs out of the house as if you know somebody is chasing him and he runs out of the path and he almost collides with a cyclist who is coming the other way the cyclist tries to maneuver himself he goes and hits into the bushes so that he can you know he does not collide with frampton nuttle so the aunt is surprised why did frampton nuttle run out like that the husband is also very surprised and he questions what a strange man why did he run out of the house as soon as they had come in the aunt says that she also does not know why the young man ran out of the house because he was so obsessed about talking of his own illness that he did not talk much but vera is very calm and tells him that he ran away out of the house because not he because he had seen the men but he was afraid of the dog she tells him that a couple of years back he was chased by a group of paraya dogs in the banks of river ganges and he had fallen into a freshly dug grave and throughout the night he was in that grave with dogs surrounding him and shouting and barking at him and foaming at him so from that day onwards frampton nuttle was very very afraid of the dogs and that is the reason why he had run out of the house because he was afraid of the spaniel romance at short notice is vera's speciality what is romance at short notice that is exactly the words that the author uses romance at short notice is making up a story at short notice is vera's speciality she is very calm and she is very collected when she realizes that frampton nuttle does not know anybody in the village when she realizes that frampton nuttle does not know her aunt she makes up a story and she takes the open window and she starts weaving a story about the open window she keeps the window as a symbol and tells about how the aunt's husband and brothers had gone for shooting and how they had died and then when frampton nuttle runs away from the house she again makes up another story saying that nuttle ran away because he was afraid of the dogs whereas the readers we think that nuttle runs away because he thinks that the three men who entered the house were actually ghosts and she very calmly says that no 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 natal ran away because he saw the dog he was afraid because he was chased by a group of pariah dogs in india a couple of years back and that is what romance at short notice is making up stories making up it was a practical joke that vera played on frampton natal and that is the irony of the entire situation we are expecting a kind of ending and suddenly it's a surprise ending a surprise ending is always called an ironical ending let us now try to understand the style structure the symbolism the narrative technique of the story okay now let us understand the structure of the story the story has actually story within a story what is the first story that we are introduced to as readers the first story that we are introduced to is frampton nuttles coming to mrs sapleton's house because he wants to make friends because he has got a letter of introduction because he wants to know the people so that 
his life in the village is a happy life and he leads a calm life he gets well soon that is the actual story that saki is trying to tell us at the beginning of the story the moment vera realizes that natal does not know anybody in the village he does not even know her aunt she starts telling him another story based on an open window so there is a story and within that story vera is weaving another story when frampton nuttle runs away after he sees vera's uncle and uh, the two brothers of her aunt coming back after the shooting she starts telling them another story she tells them that he runs away out from the house because he is afraid of the dogs so what is the structure of the story there is one major story and within this story there are two small tales which are told by vera so the structure is story within a story now let us see what is the symbolism in the story what is the symbol of the story the major symbol of the story is the open window the window is used as a symbol when vera starts narrating the story of the death of her aunt's husband and her two brothers the window symbolizes the anguish the angst the sadness the pathos of her aunt is it not so when frampton natal first listens to the story of vera when vera tells that 3 years back her aunt's husband and her brothers had gone out for snipe shooting they got lost in the bog they did not come back their bodies were not recovered and her poor aunt keeps the window open hoping that they would wa- walk in some day so what does this window then symbolize it symbolizes her aunt's anguish it symbolizes her aunt's pathos it symbolizes her aunt, aunt's sadness but then later on when the tables are turned when people really walk in from that window that is her aunt's husband and brothers do come back then the reader also realizes that vera was actually weaving a story then the window does not symbolize anguish it symbolizes deception it symbolizes treachery it symbolizes a practical joke that was played by vera on frampton natal so the major symbol in this story is the open window now let us see the narrative technique that saki adopts in this particular story the narrative technique used by saki is a third person narration that is saki does not use a first person narration he does not talk i i did this or he does not it is not a subjective narration either he is not frampton nuttel who is narrating the story it is just a third person narration it starts with how frampton nuttel enters and how vera tries to entertain him so for most part of the story we are following the story from nuttel's point of view it is how nuttel reacts to vera's story it is how nuttel reacts to mrs sapleton's uh, conversation we are from we read the story from nuttel's point of view so it is definitely a third person narration and then the in the end we come to know about vera's deception and as we come to the end of the story we realize that how vera has actually deceived nuttel and we now see the story from vera's point of view and the story ends saying that romance at short notice was vera's speciality because she could you know make up stories like this without really thinking she had the capacity she had the creativity she had the confidence of making up stories and she is able to fool not only frampton nuttel that way but also the reader because as we read through the story and if you are the first if you are reading the story for the first time you are also as gullible as frampton nuttel you also start believing the story that vera is trying to tell so the narrative technique used by the author here is a third person narration and that too we try to understand the story from frampton nuttel's point of view as we go along the story we understand that this story is a tall tale what is a tall tale a tall tale is used when you are describing a legend or when you are describing a folklore because that 
in a folklore or a legend there is an exaggerated version of the story and that is exactly what vera is trying to do in the she is exaggerating the situation there is no situation there the window is kept open because we all know at the end of the story that really three people had gone for snipe hunting and they were expected back but before we know about it vera is making up stories and she exaggerates she talks about the tragedy that has occurred to her aunt and how sad the aunt was feeling and how this aunt could not come out of her tragedy and that is the reason why she open leaves the uh, window open this exaggerated way of narration is called as a tall tale now let us further understand what are the themes that are covered in this particular story the open window explores a number of themes because earlier we had discussed about the structure the narrative technique and the symbolism the story also has a number of themes and i am sure you all know the story very well by now because i have been re repeating it many a times the major theme here is imagination and reality frampton nuttle comes to mrs apleton's house to make introductions vera realizes he does not know anything she uses her imagination and she starts telling him a story and about an open window and that open window becomes a reality she tells him about a tragedy that occurred 3 years back and that is all her imaginative the thing that is going on in her imagination and when they really do come in when the three people do walk in through the window that becomes a reality check so this you know this confusion between imagination and reality persists throughout the story because as we read through the story we don't realize that vera is using her imagination to tell us a story we think that vera is telling us the truth so this conflict is always there and we do not know about this conflict till the very end that vera is a highly imaginative girl who is trying to project the reality in a different way so the basic theme here is imagination and reality the next major theme is deception and that is clear through and through it is clear once we read through the entire story we start feeling so bad for frampton nuttle we start feeling bad for ourselves also because we are also deceived because we are reading the story from whose point of view we are reading the story from frampton nuttle's point of view so when vera is telling that about a tragedy that has that has occurred in the family we are also into that we are also feeling what frampton nuttle is feeling and so we are also equally deceived so another major theme is deception the last is sanity and insanity we know that natal has come here because he has some nervous problem but then presumably even though we people are sane as we are reading through by the end we also feel whether we have the same kind of problems that frampton natal had faced so this distinction between sanity there is a thin line between sanity and insanity which frampton natal feels and also we feel because we are being deceived by vera so basically three themes are covered the first one is the conflict between imagination and reality the second one is the deception how the readers as well as frampton natal are deceived into believing the story of vera and the thin line between sanity and insanity these are the three themes that the author is trying to cover in this particular story the open window is perhaps the most successful and the most well read stories of saki and when we read through the story we sometimes do feel bad for frampton natal because vera really really misbehaves with him by playing a practical joke on a person who is actually a patient this lesson does have a hidden moral to it we all enjoy making fun of others we all enjoy laughing at others if something wrong happens but then always put yourself in their position and realize how you would feel if people were to laugh at you this lesson perhaps is trying to teach us that we should not make fun of others and we should not definitely be like vera who really scares the wits out of frampton natal and also from us it is wrong to deceive people it is wrong to make fool of others 
at their expense. If it is a harmless practical job which the person also enjoys, there is nothing wrong. And if the person is willing to play along with your practical joke, you can enjoy it even more. But then if the person is not willing to play along with your practical joke, and Natal was not willing to play along with Vera's practical joke. In fact, he was so scared. He really thought he had seen ghosts and he ran out of the house. That is something which we should never do to the others. This is what the moral of the lesson is about. Let us enjoy life. Let us be friendly. Let us make friends. Let us have good relations with others. Let us not spoil our relations by making fun of them. Let us not play practical jokes on them. Let us enjoy life as it comes to us and let us respect and value the self-respect of others. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson as much as I have enjoyed teaching it to you. Thank you very much.